What is going on, my engineers? Mike here. Hey, listen, security, it can be difficult. You and I know that security is not the easiest thing to manage, whether that this be a firewall, a NAC configuration, whatever it may be. I'm excited today to be talking about Cisco Umbrella and Cisco SD-WAN and how easy it is to integrate the two. And when I say easy, I'm talking about as easy as a Sunday morning. We're taking an API key that you generated from an Umbrella dashboard and putting that into your vManage. So ready? Check this out. I want to first start off by showing you that this branch location is not currently managed by Umbrella. We're working within my lab environment. I'm going to go over to my Umbrella dashboard, look for my API keys, which I've already generated for brevity's sake of this video. I'm going to copy this to my clipboard. I'm then going to jump back into vManage. I'm going to apply this under the security tab. Now one thing also to mention is that we're not just limited to applying DNS security. Check all these out. Firewall, intrusion prevention, URL filtering, threat grid. I mean, the options are endless. So here we go. I'm pasting in my uh, API key here. And then once I commit these changes, I want to go back to a template view. From there, I can go ahead and assign this security policy. So I'll go in here, additional templates, and go ahead and apply our umbrella policy. Now this should only take a moment. Here we go. So we're successful. Let's jump back to our branch router, do a quick refresh, and a bit slow, flushing our DNS. Let's try once more. There we go. So now you can see that we are now protected by Umbrella DNS. And to further confirm, let's jump back into our Umbrella console, network devices. You can see that our branch device is now enrolled into Umbrella. We have a default policy applied here. Let's take a look at what the default policy is doing for us. Now, based on the blocking policy, we see that we have two domains that are being blocked, Reddit and Yahoo. Let's jump back into our lab environment, open up Reddit, and a certificate warning. So, not a bad thing, but let me prove it to you that Umbrella is serving this up. So you can see that the issued by is Cisco Umbrella, and the certification path is indeed Cisco Umbrella. If my domain policy accepted the certificate from Umbrella, we wouldn't have an issue, but let's go to Yahoo. Okay, see? So going to yahoo.com gives us Cisco Umbrella block page, and then we can confirm that we are being blocked by Umbrella DNS because we are naughty. So. Right there, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's go ahead and go to one more website. We'll go to cisco.com to prove that we have internet access. And there we go. It is that easy, ladies and gentlemen. So an API key from our umbrella dashboard and pasting that into vManage got us umbrella integration. How easy. I mean, you can't get any easier than that. So thanks for joining. And as always, if you found this helpful, share it with an engineer family, friend, or fan, and we'll get back to it. Thanks.